role in the bombing. The last survivors of the Nazi death camp at Auschwitz are tonight marking 70 years since being liberated by Soviet troops. Held against a backdrop of hostilities in Ukraine and warnings of a rise in anti-Semitism in Europe, some are asking if the lessons of history have been learned. SBS Europe correspondent Brett Mason is in Poland. The commemorations here began a short time ago with the laying of wreaths and the lighting of candles outside the most notorious of the former cell blocks here in Poland. A church service has also been held. Survivors now aged in their 70s and beyond gathering to remember those who never managed to escape from this camp when it was liberated by the Soviet soldiers 70 years ago today. Seven decades on, this is all that remains of the Auschwitz death camp, the scene of the largest mass murder in the history of the world. Men, women and children delivered here by train on an undignified journey from which 1.1 million victims would never return. <laughs> These are some of the voices that could not be silenced. In a remarkable triumph, they outlived the gas chambers. Mordechai Ronon was 11 when he lost his mother, father and two sisters. They don't believe it that I'm here. They don't believe it I'm strong enough. This is the factory floor of the Nazi genocide. But for many, it began in European cities where they thought they were safe. Esdiswava was arrested in Warsaw, doomed to Auschwitz with her mother, father and younger brother. In what is now a museum, she can still find her bed. Today's 70th anniversary is being marked at a memorial attended by the Polish and Austrian presidents. The candle to be lit on Australia's behalf will burn with personal significance for Australia's assistant treasurer, Josh Frydenberg. A great aunt of mine spent two years in Auschwitz. Uh, she was put on the death march and it's a remarkable story of survival as a German guard um, let her go. She survived, migrated to Australia, married another survivor of the Holocaust um, and uh, she's still alive today in Australia. Chancellor Angela Merkel says the moral catastrophe at Auschwitz carries a warning that is still relevant in modern Germany. Und deshalb müssen wir Antisemitismus und jede andere Form von Menschenfeindlichkeit von Anfang an die Stirn bieten. There are no speeches or sermons prepared for this anniversary. Instead, the only voices to be heard here in the snow and sub-zero temperatures are those of survivors at a time of increased racial and religious hostility across Europe, they hope the world is ready to listen to what they have to say. In Osvinchim, Brett Mason, SBS World News.